What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're talking about the top five reasons why your style is just not hidden. So, with that being said, we're gonna talk about it. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, you dig? Let's go. All right, Cam Crew, let's just jump right into this. First thing first is that you're listening to everybody's opinion. You can't always want everybody's approval when it comes to your style. There's a difference between style and fashion. Style is more so personal, something that you create through trial and error and you build that on your own. Now, when it comes to fashion, that's more so the trendy, the what's hot and what's not, and then other people's opinion. But if you're looking to create yourself a style, this is something that's gonna be personal to you and that journey is gonna be on yourself and your yourself alone. Find your style, find your confidence. After that, everybody else will follow. You will have some people that like it, some people that doesn't. For those who don't, it doesn't matter. Style is based off of you. Keep that in mind. Number two, you're afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. Sometimes when you're trying to be a stylish individual, you have to step outside of your own comfort zone and try something different. It's gonna take a while before you come really creative with your own style, so you have to try multiple things in a variety of ways. So some things that you pick just may be a hit. Some things that you pick may not, but that's okay. It's okay to step outside your comfort zone. If you don't like what you wear or something is just too much or too embarrassing, take it off and try something else the next day. It's okay for trial and error. Step out of your comfort zone and do something different. Rock the boat and have some fun with your style. Now, number three is that you are not paying attention to changing trends. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to wear every single trend that there is. No, it just means that you have to pay attention to the trends that's coming. Now, what changing trends do is that they bring out the most popular pieces, popular fashion that's going on, but at the same time, you can actually take those pieces, nitpick from certain areas, and actually add them to your wardrobe. So what you have to do is just pay attention to certain trends, find the ones that you like, grab those, use them to your creative style, and then switch it up a bit. That will actually help you find your personal style. Number four is sacrificing your style just to buy some expensive pieces. If you're an individual that likes to buy expensive pieces, that's fine, that's cool, because it means you can actually grab the pieces that are more fashion forward or pieces that are out there in the high design area. Now, just because you have a high design piece does not mean that you are stylish, because you could grab pieces that are worth thousands and hundreds of dollars and you could still come out with a trashy style. Having more expensive pieces does not mean that you're more stylish. It just means that you have more fashion forward pieces. Having style actually means that you could take those pieces that you have, whether it's expensive, inexpensive, or right in the middle, you know how to take those pieces, stand out as your own, and be a creative individual with those pieces that you pick. So don't let money be the reason why your style is sacrificed. Actually find pieces that you enjoy, find a way to be creative with it, and then make your style stand out more than your money. And lastly is finding your own style. Now I understand that it's kind of hard to actually find your style, but when you are going to things like Instagram, Pinterest, Google Images, you can find inspirations and that's fine. But dressing exactly like that individual will not make you more stylish. It just makes you follower of a trend. So if you see somebody dressing in a specific way that you like, try to make your own style out of it. Whether you're adding more accessories, adding more layers, cropping something, making a material a little bit rougher, smoother. You can actually change up things and still have that similar look to it when it comes to your type of style. So when it comes to finding your style, don't try to dress like somebody that you are inspired by. Don't try to dress in every outfit that they wear. Take something that you're inspired by, try to manipulate the style or try to mirror image to see if you could do it first. And if you like the way that you could do it, see the variety of ways that you could change it up and still have that similar look to it, but at the same time, make it in your own type of style but again when it comes to like finding inspirations do not wear every single thing that you see somebody wearing try to find your own mix to it that's how you create your style all right y'all now i just listed out five reasons why your style is not doing as good as you want it to be on top of that i gave you alternatives to think of like what you should and you shouldn't do when it comes to upgrading your style so in this case i hope that helped you out a little bit just to advance your style for 2023 I'm sure this is going to be a stylish year for you. It's going to be a fun one. So with that being said, y'all going to see a lot more of these stylish videos coming up and tips and advice and everything like that. So with that being said, y'all drop those comments down below. Hit that like button. I'll catch up with y'all soon in my next video. Y'all already know how I go. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holla at y'all. Peace.